Dance Kaleidoscope in a very colourful and vibrant manner, transporting us back to the dance music and history of a bygone era. Uh, oh, we wear gloves because it's uh, not right for a, a man to touch another uh, a woman uh, with bare skin uh, if you don't know them. So when we dance or when you're in public, uh, you must always wear gloves. So the top couple would be the important people or the people who are most important. Down to the people in the bottom who are only the top couple would begin dancing, <laughs> but they would dance from the top of the line to the bottom of the line and back to the top with each couple joining in in turn until all the dancing. It could take three quarters of an hour to achieve this. Plenty of time to decide, ladies, if you really want to spend your life with this gentleman. That's the idea. Now, it was perfectly acceptable in those days for two gentlemen to get up and dance together. Unfortunately, two ladies had to request the permission of the hostess. But I have to have all these social graces. I have to be able to dance and fit in with all sectors as well. Okay, really the... finding a wife, how's that going? Oh on? yes, well, well, I am a man of uh, a regular income, nice house, fairly um, reasonable job, so I think I'm very attractive in that, uh, on that score. Yes. in dance is, is really enjoying what we do with dance kaleidoscope, all the old okay. English country dances and yeah. um, having come from England years ago, okay. I guess I like all the history behind it and uh, it's Wonderful. just great to be doing that in modern day and have all the camaraderie of dancing. Of course, dancing at this time was, generally speaking, a way for a young lady to find an eligible gentleman as a husband. So if you were not able to dance gracefully, or remember the figures, you were unlikely to secure yourself a rich husband. <laughs> if you were, of course, very, very rich as a lady, you would acquire a husband because he was after your money, rather than your charms.
check a little bit. She took her needles when she left and 6,000 skeins. Now she's knitting up in heaven one pearl, one plane. <laughs> Okay, so if, if I asked you like one word to describe the whole experience, what would that word be? Joy.